Hi and welcome to this tutorial about Simetrans. Today's topic is economy. We start by taking a look on the line manager. There is three primary color. Red, that means something is wrong. Black, as you see here, everything all right and this blue color which show up from time to time. Blue color means that the vehicle on that line have been obsolete. They simply don't produce that type of vehicle any longer. That have an effect on your economy because an obsolete vehicle will be more and more expensive to maintain and keep. The next thing I want to take a look on is the list, cargo list. Up here we see which speed they expect the cargo to be delivered with. For train that speed is 87 km per hour at the moment. But our train are operated in 55 km per hour. That means we pay a penalty for the cargo we deliver. So now when we have obsolete vehicle which need to be replaced. This is a good time to take the decision. Should we go up and operate our railroad on 90 km per hour instead of 55. If you are an economy guy, you probably know more about economy than I, but interest rate should all people understand. We start by taking a look on this example. If you get $1,000 year zero, if you get 5% or 6%. Well, first year, $50 and $60. It's only $10 different. But what are important with interest rate is the effect on the long term. If we take a look on the long term, we see here that the difference between the two account increase. The first year is only $10, but after 20 years you have $553 in different. That is the effect of having only 5% interest rate instead of 6. But in Simetrans we're dealing not with $1,000, we deal with investment many times over a million. So here can you make a lot of money by simply operating your train and vehicle as profitable as possible. That can mean the difference between being possible or impossible to make something in the game. Some investment demanding a lot of money to be able to do. So interest rate in Simetrans are as important as in real life. Previously we have don't care about the economy. We have only concentrating on building stuff. We have simply taken some train, some truck, which get the job done. But that should we now change. In Simetrans you have a lot of different type of vehicle, a lot of different locomotive. So you have plenty of different opportunity to make money and some vehicle are more lucrative than other. To play the game based on economy is a quite daunting task, but there is a way to make this task easier. 
by automating most of the calculation. In the train depot we have several different locomotive with different speed and so on. Up here we have different vehicle for different type of cargo. And we also have multiple vehicle for some of the cargo type. This is how I do it. Here I have the locomotive. I have the speed, which we are interested in, and the cost of operating the locomotive. Down here I have different type of cargo. Let us now go in on the lumber. There is at the moment two different type of cars for lumber. But we should do this as automated as possible. Thereby we should not just copy and paste the locomotive in here. We should do it the clever way. So now you insert a formula instead. That start with an equal sign. Go over to the locomotive. And there you have the name of the loco. And the same for the speed. And of course the cost. All right, let us now go over to petrol because I already have made this thing. We should operate the train in 90 km per hour. Here we have all the train. We are not interested in all train. So we simply delete all train which not can operate in 90 km per hour. And we do it by deleting the row. And here. All right, which train should we now operate? Go back to Simetrans. That train we should take a look on is that train. And it's the smaller petrol tank we should have. That one. And now I increase the number of cars until one of two things happen. Here we see how much space this train need. Three at the moment. Here we see the operation speed. So I increase until one of two things happen. Either the speed drop below 90 km per hour or the train get too long and need six in space. And there the train is too long. And this train have 10 cargo cars. Sell it. All right, 10 cars. Let's move on to box cargo. Here we have eight, three and so on. I have made the same thing. Measure how many this train can pull. The total cost is the number of cars multiply by the price, which in this case is 5.55 euro plus the locomotive. That are the total cost, but we are interested in the cost per volume. That is also simple to calculate and that we automated. That is the total cost divided by what the train are actually operated. We have eight cars in this case. So D5 multiply by how many boxes in this case? 24 
but now we get a very small number. So let us increase that number by multiplying everything by 1000. That is only to make it more easy to read and we don't need so many digits either. This formula can we now copy and paste. Right, move on to powder. The interesting happen when you are finished. Now you can see which type of vehicle you should choose. For train, British Rail number 39 is the cheapest train if you should transporting powder at the moment. Ship is the most expensive, cars come after that, and train is the cheapest one. Alright, why should I waste time on making an automated calculated sheet? The reason is there come new locomotive, there come new vehicle, and there come new aircraft, boats and so on. Old vehicle also disappear when they go out of service. So by automating this you make your life much more easy and don't need to make as many manual calculation. The reason why we have a special sheet for the locomotive is easy. If we now add a new locomotive here, test locomotive, and say 120 km per hour, and it cost 20.56. That new locomotive now show up on every sheet, and you know it's time to do a small more calculation. The most interesting is when you get information down here in the information field about vehicle disappearing. If you want to remove an obsolete vehicle, it is so simple that mark it here, mark the locomotive, Delete the row and now you have a reference error on all sheet which contain that locomotive. This is one of the most easiest way to keep track of available locomotive and trains. Why should I keep track of vehicle? Well. When we come to the old vehicle, have we already talked about the increased cost of operating them. But new vehicles are as most profitable in the beginning. So if you can switch to newer, better vehicle, you make more money. It is like in the real life. When new technology comes available, that opens up new chance. It is up to you to decide if the new available vehicle technology are something to invest in. But all new thing is not good investment. That is up to you. So if you don't want to have a lot of manual labor to keep this document up to date, automated. This is also a living document. That means that if you don't keep it up to date, it will quickly be obsolete. Don't go overboard with this document. So create the sheet you need for that type of cargo you operated. So if you don't operate it, petrol, don't make that sheet just now. Make that sheet when you need it. 
that was everything I have to show you. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. In the next episode we take a look on the effect of different speed, the importance of choosing the right vehicle, how many new vehicles you actually need, and one other way to practically switch to new, better vehicle.